Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a video I never expected to make. And that's a good thing. So I was uh, going through the comments. Let me pull this one up. From Squirrel865. It's a very clever spelling for an equally clever animal. But Squirrel asked me, I was wondering if you tried SVA545 in burst mode. And the answer to that is no. And a bit of a conversation between us ensued where Squirrel said, you can build it for speed essentially this isn't exactly and don't worry about the recoil because it is spot on accurate so i took squirrel's word for it i mean anybody that would subscribe to my channel has to be a fine upstanding human being one of the best on this earth right but anyway so i went ahead and came up with this configuration and let's go through it very quickly the knot z3 grip and i think they call it knot because it significantly increases the recoil now six percent isn't significant unless you're talking about big numbers. 23.97 recoil itself isn't bad and 10.10 isn't awful but look at the vertical recoil. 68.87 degrees per second and what I was aiming to do was decrease the ADS speed and decrease the sprint to fire speed. So all these numbers are composites. Okay so that's as bad as the recoil is going to get and that's pretty bad. As far as handling that's as good as it's going to get but look at the ADS speed for a burst mode weapon 159 milliseconds and a 101 millisecond sprint to fire we're approaching handgun sprint to fire speeds so the burst is a two round burst if you get it in the head that's 84 damage because headshot is 42 upper and lower torso is 33 and the upper leg damage is 30 so I don't know about the burst delay you can spam the thing as fast as your figure, finger <laughs> can move. So I predict there's no classic burst delay. You just pull the trigger as fast as you possibly can. All right, let's move on. In keeping with the going fast movement, aim down sight, etc., etc., don't worry about the recoil. I put on no stop. And you can see that it does affect the flinch resistance, but we don't plan on flinching. We plan on seeing the enemy twitching. And that helps with 159 milliseconds, 15%, and 22% on the sprint to fire speed. Crouch movement speed is pretty fast. If you want to sniff your feet, you're going to have to do it in a hurry. But the ADS movement speed is at 3.5 four meters per second which is a decent ads movement speed for an assault rifle it's not the best but it's decent the war pig short barrel who can't like a barrel named after a pig that goes to war. I think that's what my girlfriend called me before I found my beautiful wife and got married. But in any case, ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and it hurts the recoil. You see a pattern developing. And I put the shadow strike suppressor on it just to keep off the map. I had an extra slot. It just silences. The DR6 hand stop. Once again, it hurts the accuracy of the hip fire, but I had no problem with hip fire you'll see in a little bit movement speed it helps and the handling ads and sprint to fire speeds are at the composites now now it was time for me to take this into the shooting range and see how it does in terms of recoil control so the first thing i did is i took this configuration i fired two times i did not control the recoil at all and i was looking at the ceiling the second one you'll see is in the burst mode and it was straight as a arrow have a look here So let's take this beast, Squirrel's recommendation, onto the field of honor and see if Squirrel led me down the paths of righteousness. Grandpa thinks Squirrel probably did. All right, let's go free for all in Das House. Mit keinem Brockwurst. From the palm friends. Meaning they don't have any, nothing to eat. So this weapon is, I mean, it. Sorry about that. Me. It is uh, very, very exact. I mean, it is a laser beam. And I can pull the trigger fairly quickly. I mean, I think that the trigger outperforms me, meaning 
if somebody had a faster trigger finger, they could put out a lot more rounds. And when you think about two bursts in the head, that's a two burst kill. I think we're only talking about 200, 220 milliseconds, maybe. Look at that. It gags very quickly. I was always pulling the trigger a minimum of three times, even if the person was going down, because I can't stop my trigger finger once it gets going. It's got a mind of its own. Grandpa's trying to keep this one close. So I can sprint at the end, but the weapon is absolutely amazing. All those attachments that improve performance but cause awful recoil, the awful recoil isn't there. Oh, excuse me. I think some people have a hard time transitioning from multiplayer to free-for-all because the guy thought I was on his team going in the same direction, I guess. And there's another bonus game, free-for-all, with this weapon, after the fighter pops its shoot. Didn't have any problem at all with strafing or with hip shots. You'll see, or switching to the Renetti, I thought I had the, the uh, jack tire on there, and I was surprised when it shot more than once. Got a good lead going. Grandpa's not going to give this one up. He hopes. Three more GAX. And we're in Winsville. Winsville, USA. There we go. Two more. The weapon has performed flawlessly. It is powerful. It's not quite a one shot weapon, and there's a win. Hooya, hooya, hooya. Ready for takeoff for number two. I put on my headsets because people were talking a lot i could hear them through the headsets and one guy was saying man that guy runs too fast he's talking about me if he could only see me sitting there he knows that i'm not very fast all right thumbs up flight systems check we're ready for the second one and i thought i had a proximity mine i almost gacked myself with a thermite there the weapon is nimble and it is powerful, like an AR. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say that you can get bullets out faster than most SMGs. Where did she go? There she is. Hip shots. One crossfire, one gack. Whoa. <laughs> Guy's trying to scare Grandpa. That guy did scare Grandpa. And I'm getting pretty far. Hey. Gax behind. Oof. But we're going to endeavor to persevere. Again, the quote from the outlaw Josie Wales. The finest movie ever made. Straight on. Straight on, you're not going to lose. Unless you're already injured. Or the person snipes you. Five behind now. I'm pulling out all my tricks. Oh, I saw that right before I ignited it. Old age and treachery will outcome youth and vigor every time. There's hip firing. Still five behind. Where is he? Where is he? Hip shots? Nope. No need. And I run out of ammo. So now we're seven behind. I can do multiplication tables. What do we got going there? Quick double kill. And we get a skeeter, a mosquito drone. Uh, Bloodthirsties always get you back in the game, almost always. Of course, you need to leverage that and not buy the farm. There's somebody just sitting there. Give him a little bit of a strafe. He couldn't hang with it. Now we're tied. A person must have gone to sleep. They must be prone in a corner waiting for business. 
Grandpa, t or maybe they turned off their aftermarket steroids. That was a hip shot. Grandpa's not going to give this one up. Work too hard. Oh, yeah, he's in the corner. He must be in trouble. Is he still? Yep. Moving to another corner. And he was Elvis. Can you believe it? Some people have absolutely no shame. Mostly they're fighter pilots. Whoa, hip shots. Thing's a powerful hip shooter. It puts out bullets quickly. Need one more guy, and we need to carefully... Ah, I thought I could get him. Let's put out everything we got. Let's, let's put out banana peel so they slip on them even. Aha! We got them. Hoo yeah. So, please comment if you've tried it, or if you do try it, let me know how it went. Please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Peace. Eliminate the enemy. All of them.